All right, just a quick update on the belt. Here's where we're at. I've started on the billets. There's that one there and that one there. Now they're not going to be this long. Reason being, okay, here's the uh, the part of the belt that's that's done. Where is that buckle? I know I got it here. Here it is. And I've skived it down some for the buckle. Buckle is going to fit in here. And then it's going to have two keepers. One keeper is going to go around this side. And the other keeper is going to go around the bottom side. Here's why. They're not completely dry yet. Otherwise, I'd be bending them around. But this keeper will go here. And when this end of the belt comes through the buckle, this will be the keeper for this end. It'll be like that. Now, the keeper for the other side, like I said, it'll, it'll go around on the bottom side. What that is, is when this belt comes around, because it's going to be a ranger belt, so this is going to be, ooh, watch out for this guy. This is going to be stitched around this side, and this keeper is going to come around this side. And when this part comes around, that's the keeper that's going to be on this end of the belt. See what I'm saying? I hope. <laughs> but like I said, these still need to dry some more before I do anything else. And um, let me set this aside. So the next step is once these are dry, I'm going to go ahead, I put the stitch holes in the end of it, make these into a loop, form them, and stitch them. Same thing on this one. And once I determine how much space I need here, because there's going to be, like I said, two keepers, one's going to go there, and the other one's going to go right in front of it. Then I'll be able to figure out how much space I need because I'm going to use um, uh, where are they? Here we go. Yeah, I got lots. I should have gotten this out before now. Here we go. I'm going to be using uh, brass Chicago screws to hold these together. So it's going to have one there and one at the other end holding the buckle and the keepers in. So I got to make the keepers first in order to determine that spacing. Then once I get all the holes punched, get them cut to the final length or the length I prefer, then it's time to get some dye on, on, on these guys too. Bevel the edges and do all that work. And once that die dries, then, you know, the, the edge burnishing and, and all that stuff. So, that's an update on where we are at with the belt. And next time when we come back, we'll get some more work done on it.